Um, we were looking to upgrade from Magento 1 to Magento 2 uh, because of the complexity in the way that we do business. Mm -hmm. Uh, we just were not happy with how Magento was handling these advanced ERP functions. Mm -hmm. So I was really in the market for a much more robust ERP. Plus, it really didn't take me long to come to the conclusion that Magento as an e-commerce platform is best utilized when it can just be a shopping cart. Right. The more things you can strip out of Magento, the better it's going to operate for you. So um, I have an awesome partner, uh, development partner in BrainVire, mm -hmm. and uh, they introduced me to Odoo. Um, and just through the dialogue and through testing it and through really seeing and being introduced to the power of it, I knew it was the right system for us. Mm -hmm. It was then just a matter of wrapping my arms around how I could utilize it to accommodate all the ways that we do business. Awesome. Okay. All right. Let's see. It is... I'm good to go. You can uh, charge it for me. Thanks, Jacob. <laughs> so that's good. That's kind of what you're looking for. Yeah, absolutely. Right, perfect. Let's. Uh, I'm also going to ask you about Brainwire's implementation methodology. Sure. What yep. did that look like? If you can yep. walk us through that. Sure. Um, what tip would you have to customers who are considering going with Odoo? Okay. Talking a little bit about the benefit add of working hand in hand with an Odoo partner. Okay, so one of the things um, <clears throat> that I'm a strong believer in is I know that Odoo offers this community edition, but I'm really a strong believer in enterprise. So in anything I talk about, I'm definitely going to favor enterprise over sure. community and try to validate the expense right from the beginning. So as long as you're cool with that from the Odoo side of things. I definitely am. All right. Um, so. I'm going to ask a question is, if you, can give, if you can give a tip to a business that's considering working with Odoo, what tip could it be? Right. That's an excellent opportunity right. to bring that up. Right. Uh, as well as you know, any, any other gems of knowledge that you can impart, I think will also be appreciated. Okay, sure. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So right. Jacob, I'm good to go? All right. And then remember to look at m yes, yep. uh, Please state your name. Hi, my name is uh, Kevin Clore. I am the Chief Information Officer for a company called TentAndTable.com, located in Buffalo, New York. And what is TentAndTable.com? So TentAndTable.com is an importer and distributor of commercial grade and residential grade party and event rental equipment. So really any of the items that you would see in parties like graduation parties or weddings or bat mitzvahs or really anything that is curated or planned from tents to tables to chairs to even those large-scale inflatables that look like they're so much fun to be on. That's what we provide. We primarily provide it to other business customers who would be looking to either rent those to the end user or provide them uh, for a fee for parties. But we do also sell direct to the consumer in some instances. Now that business sounds like a lot of fun. Uh, Kevin, can you walk me through some of the complexities of managing that business? Sure. We, the main complexities from running our business is all the ways in which we do business. Uh, we have four Magento uh, websites, uh, the main site being Tent and Table. We also have Pogo Bounce House, which is kind of the inflatable wing of our business. We have Party Tents Direct, which is the tent, table, and chair wing of the business. And we have Zoom Blowers, which is our own branded blower and air mover wing of the business. In addition to that, we have an uh, Amazon store, we have several eBay stores, and we have a Walmart store. So, and on top of those uh, traditional e-commerce ways of selling, we have a dedicated sales team that, uh, you know, they have a CRM and they make phone calls and they close business um, with, with their book of business. And we have to really be agile and flexible enough to accommodate all the ways that those customers want to do business, how they want to pay for orders. We also have a pretty robust customer service team that also will sell They'll deal with customer service issues, and they'll deal with a lot of post-sale issues such as RMAs and refunds and, you know, those types of orders where um, you just have to make the customer happy. I certainly agree. And it sounds like there's a lot of complexity with all the various parts of your business. How did you keep everything in line, and what was the main issue? So the, the main issue we were having is as the business evolved, um, and as the complexity of our business evolved, we were really kind of stuck between technologies. Uh, when I came into the picture, we were 
kind of into Magento, we were kind of into QuickBooks, and we were doing a lot of things manually to account for the third-party marketplaces. There was no really one central source of truth. There was no one place that all the orders were going and the inventory was being controlled and the accounting was being controlled. So we uh, transitioned and we matured over time and we eventually got everything into Magento, but as, again, I quickly found as a, as a scaling method, uh, Magento really wants to be a shopping cart. It doesn't want to be an ERP. So again, as our business was growing, and luckily it was growing at a pretty rapid rate, I knew we needed a much better solution for those complex ERP functions. And how did you, when you decided that, um, what led you to Odoo? So uh, what led us to Odoo um, as an ERP solution uh, was a combination of things really. Uh, having experience with ERP functionality within Magento and being generally dissatisfied with that, um, I really turned to our, our partner, uh, our development partner, uh, Brainvire, uh, for some guidance and information. Um, and also I just want to take a second too, um, you know, all of the things that we do as a complex business are possible too because of the, the ownership that we have. We're, we're kind of a small family run business and I have tremendous support from owners, um, uh, Brett and Mark and, and Kim, who give me the flexibility to work with partners and to find new solutions um, to bring the business forward. So with that type of support, I was able to really work with Brainvire, uh, and they came up with uh, some solutions, and one of them was Odoo. And as I looked into Odoo, um, and I saw the, the scope of it and the power of it, um, I was really impressed, and I, and I really felt it was the right ERP for us. I really felt it was the right decision for us. It was just a matter then of doing the due diligence and looking into, again, all the ways we do business and making sure it could accommodate, uh, accommodate us and, and move us forward while also being a scalable technology to accommodate our growth. Um, that's fantastic. And I'm so happy that you were able to have a successful, you're having a successful implementation. Can you walk us through a little bit about change management within an organization? We know that going to new software is a little difficult. So walk us through change management and how uh, your various stakeholders uh, got on board with a change in your, from going from a previous uh, solution to now Odoo? So um, as far as change management and getting the stakeholders on board with making such a, a big change, going from the way we did business and moving to an Odoo, uh, really the, the key for me was uh, communication. Um, one thing that, that, again, I get with Brainvire is, is and why I think they're such a successful partner for us is this kind of try before you buy mentality. Uh, they were able to effectively show us the power of Odoo. Um, they had it all set up on their servers. They had a really good amount of information with the demos and we could visualize it. You know, people are visual. Uh, people want to see it on the screen. They just don't want it explained to them. So when I was able to show uh, the ownership uh, at, at my business, the power and how uh, all the apps work together and how it was a true omni-channel solution. And we began to visualize how our data would come in. And then on top of that, again, with Brainvire, their ability to customize the open source nature of Odoo to meet the flexibility and agility we required, um, it really was not a tough sell. So once we got the green light to go forward, we were able to begin the implementation process of upgrading to the Odoo platform. That's fantastic. Uh, can you walk us through a little bit of uh, BrainVire's implementation strategy? Sure, so j just to talk about BrainVire's implementation strategy, um, it's very methodical. Uh, BrainVire has a very methodical implementation strategy. What they'll do is they'll sit down with you and they will really map everything out to, to the finest detail with timeline markers and um, you'll want to hit you know, certain milestones with the implementation and you'll really want to quality control and test everything at every single stage before you even think about moving to the next stage. So, you know, they employ a really organized task management. They have a dedicated Odoo resource team. Um, the communication is excellent. Uh, and then we just really, you know, get to work with implementing each and every part of the Odoo platform in a very methodical uh, way so that we can test everything. So we're as organized and as uh, prepared as we can be for the go-live date. That's fantastic. Now, 
with the successful implementation naturally comes growth and scalability. Where do you see Tent and Table in five years? So uh, where I see Tent and Table in five years is really solidifying its current market share with the B2B clientele that we have, um, but growing and expanding our products and our offerings and our markets. Um, we have so much to offer the marketplace. Uh, we can go much further beyond uh, the current customers uh, that we service, especially the B2B customers. And the advantage of a platform like Odoo is we have information that we've never had before. We have transparency of, of sales data that we've never had before. We're able to see um, what's selling, where it's selling, who's buying it, what the pricing is, what marketplaces are outperforming other marketplaces. And we're able to get a better look at opportunities that may exist in other marketplaces by having this unprecedented level of data. Fantastic. And now, Kevin, you as CTO are, I'm sure, heavily involved in the decision-making process with the technology that the company uses. What do you, on a day-to-day -day basis, what applications do you use? So the applications that I use on a day-to-day -day basis um, are, they, they range um, because I really am involved in every facet of the business operation. So of course Odoo, um, I use every single day and quite often, uh, Magento. Um, we have uh, various accounting tasks where I'd be involved in. You know, previously we were using Webgility to bring information into QuickBooks. Now we're transitioning to the Odoo accounting app. Um, shipping, uh, we ship through Federal Express as well as uh, LTL. So we use a um, 3PL and a TMS system that we're also looking currently to integrate right into Odoo to streamline processes. Um, so, uh, you know, from that aspect, uh, uh, I'm also heavily involved with our open source CRM program. And uh, that's really where our dedicated sales team and customer service teams live. So it's important not only that that functions well, but that also functions well with the Odoo side of things because again, visibility, transparency, and the ability to communicate are key within any operation to be successful. Absolutely, I couldn't agree with you more. Uh, what inspired you to come to Odoo Connect for our first annual conference here in the United States? So what's inspired me to come to Odoo Connect was um, Really, my, uh, my excitement for the platform. Uh, normally, with platforms that I use, um, I, uh, I like them. I think they're useful. Um, you know, obviously, we have decisions to make when we choose which platforms we're going to use and integrate into our business. But with Odoo, I was really, as I used it, I just became, I became one over. I became a fan. Um, more than just a user, I became a fan of it. I was just impressed with how well it worked, how it shared information, how many apps were available, how many processes it could function at, um, how customizable it was, how easy it is for me to work with BrainVar as a partner and add attributes and add processes and add alerts and add things that are so integral into the way we do business. So I just really, I just couldn't wait to come here and um, talk to other people and see how they were using the platform. Uh, talk to other vendors and see uh, how they were implementing and integrating and talking to them about not only challenges they had, but successes they had to see if there was maybe a way for us to further grow the business. And then, of course, um, I love to share our experience. So, you know, I was so excited to come here and be able to share uh, Tent and Table's experience with the integration and talk about our business and how Odoo has helped us to grow and become more successful. Well, I certainly appreciate you being here and sharing your experience with us today. Uh, final thoughts, what are some features of version 13 that really excite you? So some, uh, some features of version 13 that really excite me are um, within the, the inventory app. I really uh, love how they've been able to incorporate cycle counting and how they've been able to really streamline the inventory updating process and the landed cost process. I think visually it just looks a lot better and it's a lot more organized on the screen. Um, so I'm really excited about a lot of the inventory management uh, changes. I'm also excited about a lot of the accounting changes as we begin to integrate and move over to the Odoo accounting app. 
The changes that they made in, uh, in version 13 are uh, really impressive and I think are really going to benefit our business. And then just other things like um, the, uh, the rental application. Uh, I think, you know, obviously uh, in the business we are in, we have a lot of crossover into the rental business and being able to offer a full service solution to rental companies for their ERP and sales management is also a, uh, a, a big plus. And, you know, um, I think Odoo in 13 has making great strides with their website. It's something um, that I'm going to be looking into. We're thinking about creating a website specifically dedicated to close out and uh, slightly used and demo products. And we're thinking of using Odoo to stand that website up and, and see how it functions uh, within the system. Well, excellent. Thank you so much for sharing your insights with us today, Kevin. I truly appreciate it. I'm glad you had the opportunity to see some of the new features of Odoo 13, see the company at large here at the conference, and hope lots of success in the, in the future. All right, well, thank you. Thank you for having me. And again, I appreciate uh, this opportunity to talk about our business and talk about Odoo. We're a huge supporter, and we're so excited about the growth opportunities uh, now and, and, and much further into the future. Thank you. Thank you. All right, cut. That was fantastic. All right, well, great. You're thank you.